Well, good morning, everybody. The Lord be with you, and also with you. As we begin our worship, we light our candles as we remember God the Father who helps us to love worship. God the Son who helps us to love ourselves. And God the Holy Spirit who helps us to love others. Amen. Well, hello everyone. It's great to be with you again for Wednesday uh, morning worship. I'm here uh, in our socially distanced way. I hope you're all well. Uh, this morning I'm thinking about what it means to show compassion to others. Well, before I get into that, I'm going to have a song. And this morning it's one that's a little bit quieter, a little bit more reflective. It's got some sign language actions and it's called Wonderful Lord. So let me remind you of the actions. It goes, wonderful Lord, wonderful God, you are my shield and my protector. I can lie down and go off to sleep knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, because you are near, I can lie down and sleep in peace. Okay? So hopefully you can join in with me as we sing those words. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, you are my shield, my protector. 
I can lie down, go off to sleep, knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful love, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, cause you are near, I can lie down and sleep in peace. So today I'm thinking about our topic of being compassionate. It's a big word, but what it means is about showing concern and care for others. I'm going to share a story, a part of the story from the Hundred Acre Wood, about how Winnie the Pooh and Piglet went to see Eeyore. It occurred to Pooh and Piglet that they hadn't heard from Eeyore for several days. So they put on their hats and their coats and they trotted across the hundred acre wood to Eeyore's stick house. Inside the house was Eeyore. Hello Eeyore, said Pooh. Hello Pooh, hello Piglet, said Eeyore in a glum sounding voice. We just thought we'd check in on you, said Piglet. Because, well, we hadn't heard from you, and so we wanted to know if you were okay. Eeyore was silent for a moment. Am I okay? He asked eventually. Well, I don't know, to be honest. Are any of us really okay? Well, that's what I asked myself. All I can tell you, Pooh and Piglet, is that right now I feel really rather sad and alone and not much fun to be around at all. Which is why I haven't bothered you. Because you wouldn't want to waste your time hanging out with someone who is sad and alone and not much fun to be around at all, would you now? Pooh looked at Piglet and Piglet looked at Pooh and they both sat down one on either side of Eeyore in his stick house. Eeyore looked at them in surprise. What are you doing? We're sitting here with you, said Pooh, because we are your friends and true friends don't care if someone is feeling sad or alone or not much fun to be around at all. True friends are there for you anyway. And so here we are. Oh, said Eeyore. Uh oh. And the three of them sat there in silence. And while Pooh and Piglet said nothing at all, somehow, almost imperceptibly, Eeyore started to feel a very tiny little bit better because Pooh and Piglet were there. No more, no less. So what does this story teach us? Well first of all to be compassionate we start with what we have and we start with what we have to give where we are. In our story Pooh and Piglet realised that they hadn't seen Eeyore for a while. So they went out of their way to go and see him, to make sure that he was okay. You see, compassion isn't about some outlandish or overly generous thing that we do. But actually, it starts just by turning up and being there at the right time. This story also shows us that we don't have to say very much. Just being there, sitting beside someone, is often enough for them to know that they're not on their own. Recognising that maybe they're upset and they just need someone to be with them. 
And we sometimes think that maybe we've got to have lots of different gifts and, and ways to be with someone, be good at talking or able to help them in lots of different ways. But actually, this story reminds us that it doesn't matter what we have. Some of it's just about our attitude. See, it's easy to look around and think about the things that we don't have. And that might even be in material things. It can be hard. Keeping up sometimes, like having the latest phone, the most fashionable clothes, or the latest must-have item. But when we encounter someone who's just a little bit sad, like Eeyore, when we show compassion, we're reminded that all we have to do is be available. All the small stuff that's all too easy to overlook. Because one of the best things that we can give to somebody else is just a little bit of our time. In John 11, verse 35, we find just two words. It's the shortest verse in the whole of the Bible. And it says very simply, Jesus wept. See, Jesus was good friends with a family who lived in a village just outside of Jerusalem called Bethany. The family was a brother, Lazarus, and his two sisters, Mary and Martha. Earlier, we see Jesus visit them, and Mary and Martha have a bit of a spat about who's going to make dinner. But this is a few months later, and word comes to Jesus that Lazarus is unwell. He makes his way to see him, but when he arrives, he finds out that Lazarus has already died. When he reaches Bethany, he sees how upset Mary and Martha all are and all those around them. Jesus feels their pain and he had compassion in his heart for them. He understood their grief and he wept with them. Like Pooh and Piglet in our story, he just sat with them. Now, of course, Jesus was able to do something amazing. And he went to the tomb and he raised Lazarus from the dead. And we may not be able to do that, but like Jesus, we can show compassion. We can be aware of what our friends are going through. We can walk alongside them when they're upset or perhaps struggling in a lesson. See, compassion is about caring, caring for others and looking out for them. And sometimes it's not what we say, but just what we do and being with them. And so as I come to a close, I have some wondering questions for you. I wonder, as a school community, and individually, what are our opportunities to show compassion? I wonder, what are the situations that we can make a difference in just by being with someone? And I wonder, what might we receive in return when we show compassion? As we listen to this music, why don't you ponder on those questions?
So thank you for being with me this morning. I'm going to finish with a prayer now. And then we're going to say together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to show compassion to others. Show us how we can walk alongside someone who is hurting on the outside and perhaps on the inside too. Help us to be kind and caring to those around us to make our community a better place to be. We ask this in your name. Amen. And we say together the words on the screen, the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you for being with us today. I hope you've enjoyed our service. But for now, go in love, in peace, to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.